probably clicked on this video and thought, wait, she said in her last video that this video was going to be about our inner detectives. What in Lucifer's name is going on? Well, you'd be right. This video was supposed to be about writer's inner detectives. However, I lost all of my footage for that. And because most of it was unscripted, it's nearly impossible to re-record. So unfortunately, that video is gone. Which brings up one of the reasons I decided to name this video the emotional roller coaster of writing. Granted, that's more about author too, but frustration is definitely one of the emotions that you feel a lot as a writer. Between the frustration of not knowing how your story is going to go, plot holes, and anything like that, it's very prevalent as a writer. And unfortunately, there's no magic cure. You just have to deal with it. Today's not going to be a very formal video. I just thought we would catch up, talk about writing. And as we do, I thought I would update my desktop's background for you. Since it's almost officially fall, I need something fall. Right now, it's a wolf and a moon, which is fine, but I need that fall vibe to inspire me. Let's see what I can find. Autumn is one of my favorite times of year, not only because the weather is cooler, but also because of the beautiful colors, the lack of bugs. It's just one of the greatest times of year. this would be good. I like that. I think that gives me the feeling that I'm going for without being a little too calming. Now that that's taken care of, it makes me feel a little bit happier than I was, a little less frustrated, a little less stressed out. And that's another thing I love about Autumn. As you may remember from one of my previous videos, I'm currently working on the beta notes for Two Fangs Don't Make a Fight. And that's bringing about one of the other emotions that comes along with writing. And that is doubt. Personally, I suffer from a lot of doubt when it comes to my own writing. It's partially because of the fact that I have anxiety, but it's also partially because I haven't written in years. I went through a very long stretch of time where I didn't write anything because I just it just wasn't coming to me and it was frustrating me to no end. So some of my doubt stems from that and it's only been about a year now where I've actually been regularly writing again and those three three to four years where I didn't write really overpower the year this past year that I have been writing so I, I kind of got to get back in the groove again before I will feel not that I'm perfect because nobody's perfect no author is perfect traditional self-published no author is perfect because there's no such thing as perfect Personally, I think you should take that word right out of your vocabulary because it does not exist. Another update, I'm changing my author tube a little bit. I know I haven't been at it that long, so it's kind of early to make a change, but I've discovered one thing about author tube that I was a little bit worried about actually going for, but then I watched something from another author tuber and realized, why not? Why don't I do the things that, in, that I enjoy rather than what is supposedly correct? First of all, you may have noticed that my thumbnails are different. And that's because of several reasons. One, before I was going for the more 
graphic designery type feel rather than what I rather than what I thought looked good. So now I'm going with more what what looks nice, what I can customize, and what really gets people's attention. In addition to that, I've decided I'm going to do far less how-to videos than I am vlogs and just updates like this. I feel like I connect with my watchers more when I do things like this rather than the, you know, scripted, stoic, stiff how-to videos. I'm still going to do some of them, obviously, because some of them are actually helpful, but I'm not going to focus on those. I'm going to focus more on just talking to you guys, like your humans rather than my viewers. And the author who inspired me to do this is Sarah Sutton. She's a young adult romance novelist, and she does videos where she's just casually talking, updating, sometimes she's even decorating. And I enjoy those a lot more than I enjoy the how-tos. It's not that I don't watch the how-tos or enjoy making the how-tos. I just feel like my personality and my connection with you guys doesn't come through in those how-to videos as much as it does in these. Also, the whole point of me joining AuthorTube wasn't really to sit here and teach. I'm not a teacher by any means, but I was more looking to get some people that I haven't met before, share my writing journey, stuff like that. It's not, I'm not here to be the boss. I'm here to be an author trying to connect with readers. And in the end, we're all human. So why am I talking to you like your students when you're just like me? Don't feel that authors are these almighty, powerful people. We're not. We're just human. You can tell that even parts of this video are kind of scripted. They're not really scripted, but I know what I'm going to say. And the reason for that is because, as I mentioned, I do suffer from anxiety. But I'm also socially awkward in the best definition of the word. I'm not very good at talking to others. I'm not very good at talking to a video camera. I'm not good at talking in general. So some parts obviously will feel a little bit more scripted than others. And that's because if I don't have an idea of what I'm going to say, I'm going to sound like a bumbling idiot. Of course, that's also part of the thing that I'm going to bring through in my new author tube is that shy, awkwardness, introverted person that my intro, introverted intro, haha, claims me to be. It's true, that's who I am, but yet it's not coming through in my videos. So I think I'm going to show you all the real me. And I hope you all will show me the real you in the comments as well. I'd love to get to know you. I'd love to answer your questions. Remember, Thursday's video is a Q&A, so get those questions in the comments with this one. It's your last chance. Or if you'd like to put them in Instagram, that's in the description as well. And don't feel the questions just have to be about writing and about books. You can ask me questions about myself. You can ask me questions about other writers. You can ask me questions about publishing. Whatever you feel you want to ask an author or ask me personally, fire away. And that whole thing really goes into the title of this video as well. Emotional roller coaster. It's not just about writing the book. It's about the connections we make with people. It's about the publishing process. Everything we have to do as authors, everything comes with an emotion, whether it's fear, anxiety, awkwardness, doubt, whatever it is, emotions are going to be high when you're writing a book and it's normal. So don't feel like you're a failure or you can't handle it or you're too weak. That's not the case. Emotions are natural. Feel them, use them, move on from them. It's still a little too warm here to do outside videos, but as the weather continues to get cooler and the bugs continue to die, I'm going to do some outside videos. Now I live in an apartment complex, so doing the outside videos actually where I live is not really possible. So I have to do some research. I may take you guys to some parks. I may take you on some road trips. I'm not really sure what's gonna happen. If you have any ideas, feel free to tell me in the comments. Now, just a little disclaimer. Obviously, at this point you realize I talk a little fast when things are not scripted. If you can't hear me, you can't understand me, tell me in the comments, I won't be offended. I'd like to improve these videos in any way that I can. So tell me honestly what you feel, what you hear, how you think I can improve. One of the things we learn as authors is to have a thick skin, which doesn't mean we don't get offended. It just means that we take constructive criticism easier than others might. 
Now, there's a difference between constructive criticism and being just plain rude. Constructive criticism is going to allow me to improve things in a constructive way. It's going to give me an idea of what you as readers and watchers feel when you experience my work. An example of rude comments are saying things like, you suck, stop recording, you're too fat to record videos. These are things that I cannot change and I wouldn't change just because somebody comments them. I'm going to be me and I'm going to continue to be me no matter how many rude comments I get. Another thing I want to touch base on, you may notice in these videos that there's a lot more um, skips than other videos, other authors' videos, and that's because I'm doing this, since I'm just starting out, I'm doing this on my cell phone, and my video editing software is for free. So it's not the best video editing software out there. So I have to do small snippets of the video and then piece them together. I apologize if it's a little hard to watch, but that's how I have to do it right now until I can get to a point where I can afford a better editing service or a better camera. And talking about these things and how I'm using a free program and everything may not be politically correct, may not bring me forth as a professional author, but what it is doing is bringing forth the honest truth. And as you can tell, I'm a little bit more easy going with the honest truth than I am with trying to come across as somebody I'm not. And I feel like in the how to videos, that's kind of what's happening. Like it's not, I'm not being somebody I'm not, but it's starting to give off that feeling in a way. And that's not what I want. I don't want to portray myself as somebody I'm not. So that's why I've kind of decided to kind of reconfigure this author tube channel. I don't want to sit here and bore you with just all these updates and random conversations, but since the title of the video is Emotional Roller Coaster, I wanted to kind of convey that in the only way I know how, and that's telling you the truth. Telling you what I'm experiencing right now, telling you the truth that I use a free editing service because that's all I can afford, because believe it or not, authors are not rich, and the ones that are, are very, very lucky. And the more and more that I talk in this video, the less stiff I am, the less anxious I am, but also the more nervous I am because I feel like I might be rambling and I don't want to come across as boring or annoying in these videos. I just want to come across as me. Another update about me, I did two days this past weekend of researching genres. Now you might ask yourself, why are you researching genres when you're already a writer? Well, the truth is most of my beginning books have been romances. Yes, I've got into paranormals and now working on mysteries, but my experience is in romance. And as much as I love romance, it gets a little boring. So I'm looking into what other genres I can possibly try to do. And it takes a lot of research when it's a genre you've never written in before. The one that really captured my attention is young adult. Now it's very, very difficult to write a young adult. It doesn't sound like it would be, but it is. There is so much involved and teenagers and young adults are more picky about things than adults are. Yes, it's true. It might sound strange, but teenagers are more picky than adults. I'm considering doing it. Worst that can happen, find out it's not my genre. The other one that has really captured my attention, and this is partially because of my background, but the other one that's really captured my attention is a detective story, detective novel. This is because I have a paralegal degree and I've always been interested in law. For those of you who don't follow me on Facebook, you may not realize at one point I wanted to be a cop. So detective stories are really close to my heart and I would love to give one a try. Now I'm not talking about cozy mysteries, although I do have one of those in the works, actually I have a couple, but those will be a long time away. I'm talking more about the videos where the whole thing is centered on a detective. Example, Sherlock Holmes. And in each book, they have to solve a crime. Now, there's a lot that goes in, into this as well. While I was doing the research, there's a lot more than I realized there actually is involved in a detective novel. There has to be interesting characters. There has to be interesting crimes. There has to be interesting culprits. There also has to be something that we call a hook. That's gonna be my hardest part because as much as I love the beginning of a story, things like detective novels take 
bigger hooks. If you don't know what a hook is, it is what brings the reader to a point in the beginning of the story that they want to continue and find out what happens. With a detective novel, this is very much involved. This is a very involved process. Not only do you have to get them hooked on your detective, you have to get them hooked on the crime. So there's a lot that has to happen even in chapter one that is going to tell, that is going to make the rest of the novel difficult to finish because so much has to go into chapter one, but you have to continue. You can't just have chapter one, you have to have a whole book. So what do you put after all of that information you put in chapter one to hook your reader? This is why a detective novel is going to be difficult. But as I said, it is very near to me and I think I'll give it a try. If you have an idea of what genre I should write, please feel free to tell me in the comments. If you know which one you think I shouldn't write, please feel free to tell me in the comments. Before this video gets much too long of me just rambling about my life, I'm going to end it here. However, I'm going to end with asking you, the viewer, if you could please tell me in the comments which kind of video you prefer. Do you like these casual videos? Do you like the day in the life vlogs? Do you like the how to's? Thanks for watching. Please leave your comments. Please give a subscription and a like if you have not already. And I will see you guys on Thursday for the Q&A.